is oh medical misconceptions yes and so i have a fun one i do so i don't think you know about it because i was she, trying to she keep won't it a tell secret. me she won't tell me i was trying to keep it a secret i'm just gonna move everything over here have you guys been following the olympics at all i have a little bit okay have you seen like the weird bruises on people's backs no like there's these like weird like cup like bruises oh i know what you're talking back. about yes and like there's like this real big trend of cupping right so the medical misconception is what is cupping um and a lot of people do it like jennifer aniston does it. i think gwyneth paltrow um some of the swimmers michael phipps i believe yeah. maybe ryan lochte i'm not 100 percent sure about him but a lot of them are doing it for like inflammation problems muscle pains and things like that so I was like, is this a real thing or is this just like the new Hollywood fad? Right. And it is a real thing. Like a lot of different alternative medicine places practices. Chinese medicine does it from what I was reading. Um, and it's interesting because I'm going to explain to you what it is and I'm going to tell you why I would never do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what the, the purpose of it is a lot of people go to get it done. They're having a muscle pain. And the reason why they say this works is because the process basically will allow the blood to move and flow into that area a little bit more and that would alleviate the muscle pain or any inflammation that you're having. So they use it for what they call blood, blood stagnation. And this is an example of what some people do. This is a simple version. There are some that are a little bit more complex. I'm going to show you a simple version. They take a cup and they pour something that's flammable in the cup, nah, such as alcohol. I'm out already. I'm serious. But you can keep alcohol. talking. I'm done. So they pour alcohol in the cup. Let's pour a little bit more so you guys can see that. Then they okay. take a match. No, we don't. No, we can't. I'm not going to light it. I'm not trying to blow okay. up. They then take a match or a lighter, cut it on, let this thing like light up with fire. Yes. And then they pour it on your body. At, yes. They turn the cup upside down and place this like on your skin like oh this. hell no mm -hmm. so i didn't know that's what cupping was yeah. but um maybe a couple months back buzzfeed had a video about um cupping like a couple people went to a center and they did it and i was like oh that looks really cool but they didn't show the actual process of like preparing the cups to put on your body well and... some of them aren't as simple as this there are some that have like these little pumps Okay. To like pull out suction the air in because what it does is the whole point of this is to suction your skin up so your skin like pops up into a bubble. So some of them have like this little cool little pump that makes it pop up and they're saying that that produces more blood flow going to that area and that is what actually relieves the muscle pains and the aches and inflammation and things like that. I would try, but I would try a non-alcoholic version. Like, well, they use things that are flammable. They, I, I, they need the, the fire in there to take out all the air. They're so, trying to remove all the oxygen. So there's your skin no virgin blood. cupping? There might be. I'm sure there, I'm sure there might be, but the, from what I was reading, it was mostly like they're putting something flammable in there to make take out all the oxygen in the, in the cup to make your skin like pull up and make the blood flow come So out. I think I'm just going to have to live with the inflammation and the pain of working out and trying to get back into shape. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought it was a fun little medical misconception because when I kept hearing like cupping, I was like, what is cupping? Yeah. I remember seeing Michael Phelps doing that. Like, Oh, you saw him do it actually? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or, or yeah, they were, yeah, they had a video of him doing okay. it, but that's, that's. Crazy. It's the new fad. So a lot of places in Atlanta, I saw like they had like 10 top places to go get cupped in Atlanta. Wow. I was like, what? That's crazy. I choose not to catch on fire today. Right. I choose not to be that person. <laughs>